Facebook.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this transition of a face going to a skull uh, you know combined together like this using GIMP and if you'd like to update GIMP with these icons you see here I'll have a link to that in the description of the video so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna open up the image I'll have that linked in the description of well as well so uh, I'll right click this image and open it with GIMP <clears throat> And there we have our image. And what I want to do now is open up the skull image as well, which will also be linked. So I'll just right click that and open it up with GIMP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this by hitting Control C on the keyboard. I'm just going to copy that image. And then I'm going to come back over here to this image. And I'll go to Edit, Paste as, New Layer. And what I want to do is come up here to where it says Opacity and just drop that down just a little bit so you can kind of see some of the man's face through the skull. And what I want to do is grab the scaling tool and click on the image of the skull and just scale this down. I'm going to hold control so it locks the proportions. I'll scale it down maybe that much. Grab that window, go ahead and click scale and I'm going to grab the move tool. And I'm going to position this over the face just to see how that looks. And let me zoom in on this to show you. I'm just going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom. What we're looking for is we're looking for the eyes, the eyeballs to be going within the sockets the eye sockets of the skull and we're looking for, so we're looking for the eyes to line up and we're looking for the nose to line up and for the mouth to line up as well and one thing you might want to do with this is let me go back to the uh, scaling tool click on that image again you might want to take this bottom node and bring that up a little bit maybe like that see how that look see how that looks that's pretty good maybe I'll take this one and bring this down just to distort it a little bit just so it matches the uh, the image there and uh, what you could do is you could toggle the visibility on and off to see how it's matching up. So uh, I'm going to take, uh, it's, it's not quite matching up yet, so I'm just going to take this and bring this over a little bit. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll scale it down just a little bit more. Just like that. I'll go back to the move tool. And that should probably do the trick right there. I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's, that's about what I'm looking for right there. So it's lined up over the face pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the opacity of this all the way up. And what we'll do now is we'll grab the, uh, the eraser tool. And we're going to want to grab this softer brush over here. Let me adjust the size of this to maybe like 240 or something. Something like that's pretty good. Maybe up a little more. And I'll just go and erase. I'll start erasing the edges of this skull image to reveal the man's face beneath it. And you want to do it carefully and slowly and just go a little bit at a time. Like that. Get rid of these edges here. We're just going to soften everything up. And I'll, I'll even erase this part right here to reveal uh, the left eye or his right eye. Uh, let me soften that up a bit. I'll bring the brush down a little bit so I can get some of this area in here. Maybe make that a little bigger. I just want to soften that up a bit. Now, you know what? Maybe I'll just erase this whole segment right here. And if you accidentally go too far and erase too much, you could just hold Alt, and the erase and the and the eraser tool will put the area back in there. So uh, it's a neat little trick that you can use. So. I'll go with something like that. Make sure this is softened up. And what we have now, we have the skull on the face, but it doesn't quite look like it matches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this to make it match the appearance of the man's uh, uh, appearance here on this image. So I'm going to go to Colors and Brightness Contrast, and I'm just going to bump up the contrast a little bit. I'm going to slide that to the right until it looks like it matches a little better. Okay, and that's good. We can click OK. Now we'll go to colors, uh, hue, saturation. I'm going to bring down the saturation a bit because that's a little too, a uh, little too yellowish orange. Just bring it down until it matches the skin a bit. And what you could even do is, you come up here to where it says hue and slide that to the left a little bit, and create a shade. You can put set this at a shade that matches the skin tone, and you could adjust the hue uh, accordingly. And that looks pretty good. That's that's starting to match there. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll go to Colors and Levels. And I'm going to take this node in the center right here. I'm just going to slide that to the right a little bit. 
just to match it up to the skin tone even more. And that looks pretty good right there. I'll go ahead and click OK. And uh, let me just go back to the eraser brush, the eraser, and get rid of some of this right here. Or at least, you know, taper it a little more. And uh, let me see. Fix that up a bit. We're almost done now. What we have to do now is uh, fix the eye socket because the eye socket is... Uh, I don't really like how that looks. If you notice in the thumbnail, I have it darkened out like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to duplicate this layer right here by clicking this button over here that says create a duplicate of the layer. And I'll go to uh, colors, levels, and again, I'll take this middle node and I'll slide that to the right maybe about that much until that eye socket looks about that dark. Maybe like that, that's pretty good. And I'll go ahead and click OK. So we have the eye socket how we want it, but the problem now is the rest of it doesn't really match. So we're gonna grab the eraser and just erase the rest of that out of there. Like that, and that's starting to look pretty good I think. And uh, if you want, you could even adjust the, uh, the, the, uh, the saturation of that too. If it's a little too much red or orange in there for your, for your liking, you can go to uh, colors, hue, saturation, bring that down a bit. Maybe about that much. That's pretty good. And let me zoom out a little bit. And uh, I'll click on the original layer. And you can see that's pretty much it. We have created that effect using GIMP. So that's how you can do that. If you have any questions, let me know, and as always, thanks for watching.